Hey guys, this is Reese. Welcome back to Tesla's Cube, and I got something special to show you guys. This is a full case of accelerators. When they were shipped to the stores back in 2005, this is what they came in. This is the box. So it doesn't actually say accelerators anywhere on the box. There's a little code here. This G7784. That was the product code for the accelerators cars. It's actually on the packaging of the cars. So if you find a case laying around somewhere and it has that code, it's an accelerator's case. So I'm not exactly sure, but I think that means this is an H case. I could be wrong about that. If there's any case code experts out there, please leave a comment if uh, you need to correct me on that. But I think this is an H case. And if that is the case, no pun intended, that would mean it's kind of the middle of the run. So we don't know what assortment this is. We don't know exactly what cars are in here. So we're gonna find out. I also wanted to mention too, that's the factory sealed tape. This thing has never been opened before. So this thing has been closed for like 15 years. Time to crack her open. A moment of truth. I'm not nervous, you're nervous. And there we are. 24 on-card accelerators in their original packaging. So, I guess we do it like this, and then I'll go through each car. So, I didn't want to look too much at the cars because I want to be a surprise. So, first up, we have Anthracite. This is a pretty common one, but uh, I need it for my collection on card, so that's a good one. Yeah, there's 24 cars in the case, uh, and there's two of each model, so it's about 12 models. I had a friend who had an F case if we're correct about reading the case codes. So there's the second anthracite. And uh, he sent me a picture of what it looked like inside of the case. A flathead fury. That's a, that's a hard one to find. I'm really glad I got this one on card because I needed it for my collection. This is near the end of the run, which is weird because, hmm, because I was saying maybe this was near the middle of the run, but Maybe this was towards the end, because this is a, a later one that's really hard to find. Flathead Fury. And I got two of them. Oh yeah, by the way, in the comments, please don't like, ask for cars. That's really annoying. <laughs> don't, don't be in the comments like, sell me stuff or, or give, give me your cars. It happens, trust me. We have Rolling Thunder. Two Rolling Thunders with the light red variation with the six spoke Como wheels. Someone over there didn't silence the phone. Next up, RD01. Another one I needed for my collection. And this is a good case. There's a lot of good ones in here. RD01, that was towards the middle of the run, so it's like medium rarity, but it's a good one. Nonetheless. Next up, Nitrium, Dr. Tess's car. It's a bit of more of a common one, but you know, that's the whole point of it being an assortment. It's an assortment of cars. Next up, Octanium. Another one I need for my Carter collection. I might just complete my Carter collection today. <laughs> I'm getting lucky here. This is all the ones I need. That's probably one of the least popular models in the series, Octanium. I know it's not, I know it's my least favorite, but hey, Accelerate series and Accelerate. Ah, here we go, Synchro. Black spoiler variation. Hmm, that's weird. That uh, this case has a flathead theory, which means it's towards the end of the run. But also, these black spoiler variations of uh, Synchro were usually towards the beginning of the run because they ended up correcting it to the orange spoiler and those were in the later cases. And as a result, the orange spoiler version is a bit harder to find. So that's kind of weird. I don't know, maybe we'll learn some new stuff about uh, the Acceleracer's cases for us today. <laughs> Next up, Metalloid, another middle of the run car. Ooh, whoa, 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 spoilers. Metalloid and Anthracite. Looks like we don't have a second one of Metalloid. We got one Metalloid, one Anthracite. Or no, that's not Anthracite. Excelium. My bad. That's Excelium. I thought there was two every car, but I guess not. I guess there's a few exceptions. Another middle-of-the-run car, RD10. 
some of these models that were in the middle of the run, like RD10 and RD01, are a little bit harder to find just because they're just kind of obscure castings, like they're just not the most popular ones. Like Synchro is everywhere, but RD10, you just don't see it pop up that much because there's not a lot of people that want it or even know about it, so. RD09. This was uh, Glorum, the villain's car. Another one I needed for my carded collection, so I'm really, I'm really lucking out here. This, <laughs> this is a great case. Next up, ooh, another late run Metal Maniacs. These two were the hardest Metal Maniacs to find. This is Pile Driver with Flathead Fury, and it looks like there's only one Pile Driver in here. So that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, it looks like these last couple ones, there's only one of them. Which is interesting, because the rest of them is two of them. Iridium. This was another common one. On the left, though, it's a pretty cool casting. There's Iridium. First dad. Rarity. I needed this one for my collection, but that's the uh, six-spoke Komod wheel variation, so. The black hood. So, cool to have that one. RD02. This was another racing drone. I think this was the middle of the run. I'm not exactly sure. But, yeah, that makes sense. I would kind of expect that one. Oh. Here's Hollowback. That is the... There's a lot of variations of Hollowback. This was a common one, but it's one of my favorite models in the series, so... I can never have too many hollow bats. But this is the one with the satin dark red variation with the six foot combo wheels. There was a version with the five spoke. There was a version that was a lighter gloss red. But this was, um, I really prefer the satin because it just looks so much better. Yeah, hollow bat. That is just a beautiful car. And these, uh, these packages are like, just so in good condition because they've been sealed away in this case for how many years? All right, save the best for last, the Holy Grail. Reverb. I was not expecting this to be in there. That's awesome. Very hard card to find, very hard card to find. I actually have a loose one with me right here. It's just a cool inky dink. This is a really hard one to find, especially on a card like this, so I'm really glad to finally have it for my collection. This is the third rarest, hardest to find car in the series, I think, pretty much. And it's the one everybody wants. It's a very popular model, mostly because Vert drove it. So yeah, that's it. That's, that's the whole case, all 24 cars. Pretty interesting. It was a really good assortment. I really love these. Uh, and I'm gonna keep the box, because uh, that's history right there. <laughs> Remember that, G77. A4. It's not going to say accelerators on the box. But yeah, that's pretty interesting. There we go. We can show all 24 cars here. That's what would be stocked on the pegs back in the day if, if this case was showed up in your store, which a lot of the later cases didn't because they, um, stores would order too many of the first couple cases and then they, would have, they wouldn't be able to sell them all, and when Mattel was ready to send them the later cases, um, they'd be like, no more, they would, they would reject them, because they were like, we already have enough. And that's why certain cars like Reverb and Flathead Fury are hard, harder to find and more expensive than other ones like Synchro or you know, Hollowback, because these cars were in the later cases that didn't even show up some places. Some stores didn't even get these cars. So that really kind of lowers the uh, the quantity of them. Because what makes something valuable is, uh, you know, limited, limited quantity plus high demand equals value. So that's why Reverb is so rare because not only was it at the end of the run and hard to find, but also uh, Vert drove it. So everybody wants it. So there's a high demand for it. So there you go. A little lesson. A little uh, lesson in commerce. <laughs> So, thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed that, I'll see you later.